things we've been doing a lot lately is playing cards. And my girlfriend was at a thrift store and she found this. Check this out. This is a vintage uh, card shuffler, battery operated portable card shuffler. The original box, still there. See, one dollar. What a deal, right? Even has the original little instructions there. Um, simple little device. You set your cards on each side. You press the door in and the cards are sifted together. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's not really working. One card's trying to go, there goes another one. You can hear it kind of squeaky. So this one's feeding a little bit. We got a total of three cards through there. This side is not feeding at all. Um, so what I want to do is see if I can fix this. Well, the first thing I got to do is figure out how to get into this thing. Um, let me get the batteries out of here. These are brand new batteries, so we know batteries aren't the issue. It looks like this case is held together just with these little tabs that stab through the base unit. There we go, starting to come. It actually is sealed along this back edge here with a little adhesive. I can see an adhesive line. If I carefully pry, I can get that adhesive to let go. There we go. A little piece of debris came out of there. Oh well, that looks like a bug carcass. Now, oh, this is interesting. So this cover has to come off the back here in order to get to all of that. that. So that's a twisted belt between those two. I'm going to keep track of all this. It's a straight belt on the lower pulley there. All right. This comes out. It falls off. Here's the little drive wheels. They're real rubber. They've got um, like a little serrated edges. They probably should be cleaned up. They're kind of loose on that. Let's see. Here's another one. That belt goes over and under. Let's see if we can take that drive shaft out. My other set of drive wheels. That's the main pulley. Close these contacts. Oh, look at that. Little motor runs really well. So that's not a problem. So I have all my parts laid out here, sort of in the order that they came out of the, the unit. And the first thing I'm going to do now, I think I want to clean these shafts a little bit at the pivot points with some emery cloth. This is just um, is it 600 grit emery cloth. We just want these pivot locations to be clean and smooth. Mm. This one's got definitely got a little corrosion or something cruddy on the pivot location right there. Oh yeah, that scrapes off. Some cruddy stuff of some kind there. I'll roll up a little piece of emery cloth and use it as a as a burnisher in there, see if that'll work. Yeah. 
just dirty gooey in there. I want to clean these little rubber belts. I'm going to do that and take some denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol shouldn't harm any of this if it's neoprene rubber and it'll cut any grease or anything that's you know, maybe a little slippery on there. And then let me clean these little pulley wheels too a little bit. And these little drive wheels, I'm going to clean these. I'm going to use uh, the denatured alcohol again and a Q-tip. And I'll just try to clean through the texture of the rubber here. Oh yeah, that, see that's coming off black. Yeah, look at all that crud. Okay, well, another Q-tip. Well, I turned this up thinking I could give the camera a little better view of the assembly of this. And in doing that, I broke free the little wire that connects the battery con uh, connection to the contact here. So I'll have to solder this together and I'll do that after I get the other assembly done. What I should have done, I realized that this little contact is removable with a little tiny screw. And I could have removed that and then not put stress on that wire. So I'm going to set that aside for now. And I'll have to re-solder those. Well, I need to thread everything together. These housings have to fit in before the shaft can go in place. Let's see if I can pivot that around in there. There we go. So this has to go down through. I need to put a drive wheel on. And the drive wheel has to line up with the opening in the housing. Right there. And then come down to a second drive wheel right there. And then that goes into the the bushing. I'm going to use a little bit of this silicone grease. Take a toothpick. Put a little silicone grease. On each end of this shaft. Put a little down there. And a little up here. See if I can do this other side. Put this down through the bushing. Slide it through a drive wheel. Shuffling wheel, maybe I should call them. I'll put a little grease on those too. Put a little grease on this shaft. That wheel. See if I can put all the uh, drive belts back on here. Okay, this one goes from that to the motor. This one goes from the central pulley to that shuffling shaft. And the twisted belt goes to this one. There we go. 
before I snap things together, I'm going to solder my my battery contact back in place. Set up here, just using this little weight to hold my tab in place. Light my little burner here. Let that heat up for a minute. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. I melted my plastic housing a little bit. Ooh, I wasn't watching that. Good thing I didn't catch it on fire. There. Channel with these wires. All right, I'm going to put the batteries in here and just do a manual test here and see how this thing works if it does. Oh, yeah! Look at that. I think I can snap this case back together now. There, these are all clipped back in. A little dab of epoxy on the side of each little rubber wheels that sift the cards. And then just move the wheel into place. Just like that. All right. Okay, that should hold everybody in place. It's been about 15 minutes, long enough for the glue to set up. I'm gonna give this a try. Put my catch tray in, split my deck of cards, give the tray a push. Hey, look at that! It works. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to try my my classic Garfield cards. Press the tray in. Yeah, it works. This vintage card shuffler is fixed. <laughs>